Hello guys, uh, today we are uh, going to be discussing a very important topic uh, which is a MongoDB Spring Boot with multiple MongoDB connection uh, because uh, sometimes uh, we do have a lot of the databases so uh, there is no option left uh, uh, you have to be build an architecture uh, which is uh, microservice architecture microservice architecture is very big and uh, you have to be create uh, multiple every layer and uh, multiple uh, gateways and you know uh, set up a uh, whole thing so it will take a lot of the time but in this video we are uh, take a look at that how we uh, make a simple spring boot application without micro services that connect with the multiple mongodb and then combine all the data uh, in one json format so let's take a look at that In the market services, as we have discussed, uh, the microservices is a big task and uh, we have, a, uh, if you can see the diagram, uh, the client has to be connected uh, with the identity provider and then connect with the gate, uh, API gateway. All the requests uh, go through, through the API gateway. Uh, this gate, uh, gateway is responsible to send the requests uh, to the particular services uh, with the particular uh, endpoints. So, the, for example, if you are fetching the data for the order service or uh, customer service, so uh, the endpoint should be, you know, localhost uh, 8080, whatever the server is, slash order, slash customer. So, based on uh, these uh, endpoints name, uh, the request will be redirected to, uh, to the particular service through the ga API gateway and then uh, the microservices uh, has to be each microservices has to be connected with own db so and uh, in the microservice architecture uh, each uh, database uh, each service has each own of the database so uh, the data is in isolated form so uh, the combining the data from one service to the another service it's uh, again bigger challenge and then uh, uh, combine the data and then send back to the client so this is how we do in the microservices and we do have to implement a lot of uh, 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 design pattern for example circuit breaker pattern the api gateway pattern and uh, sometimes if you are, you are doing the distributed uh, transaction so you can be able to implement the saga pattern so it's a very complex task right and a lot of the configuration is required and uh, you have to be monitor each and every service so if you are uh, just you know combining the data from one to, uh, one to many of the mongo databases so uh, you can uh, uh, you can do that by a simple spring boot application so in this example we take a look at that so uh, in this example we take a look at that how we do you know uh, we have to be create a um, um, microservice uh, without microservice we have to create a database mongodb and then uh, the data has to be into the uh, multiple db and then combine it so uh, 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 in the example uh, for example let's uh, take a look at the example The idea is to be, uh, you know, uh, create a multiple MongoDB. Uh, for example, if you have a MongoDB, first you need to install the MongoDB on your machine, and uh, you have to create uh, some databases. We do have a customer DB, we do have an order DB, and in the customer DB, we do have a, a collection name is customer and order. So, if you can take a look at the, the customer, we do have full name, address. Uh, and uh, contact number email number so these are the customer information which is uh, separately reside on to the another other database both databases are on localhost so you can be able to create uh, the database on to different servers so this is an order database we are we do have a customer id and uh, customer id is uh, residing on to other database and these are the order information so we we, we have to create a new customer now first we take a look at the, the how we do create the customers uh, and then uh, we do have to be create the order so you can be able to do combinedly but uh, i have exposed to uh, two separate uh, endpoints for that okay uh, use any uh, client tool for 
sending the data so you can use the postman which is being very popular but i am using insomnia so you can download it from uh, from uh, internet so the customer is the the fund uh, first you need to create the customers so go to the customers so these are the customer information full name address email or contact number so for example testing customer one three for example testing address three and testing three and phone number for example this is a customer right so the customer has been saved successfully and we have uh, and the customer id is created accordingly and then we are going to be create some order for that customer so you need to you know write the json look like to be this and add the customer id and the date for example to two uh four 2021 order is cre created and the amount is 1500 rupees for example so this is the customer information sent the order id saved and the other is for example the 0106 2021 created and uh, 3500 right okay now the third value for this customer uh, 04 uh, 0 5 2022 order is shipped the amount is 7500 rupees see so this customer has three order information let's take a look at the in the database so this is a customer dv so this is the third record we have created customer testing customer three and now we are going to do order so you can see a lot of the order but if you can pass the value for the customer id uh, for example So if you can see uh, these three uh, customers order has been created. So in the JSON, we do have a customer. So we can be able to pass the customer ID and then you can find the data. So this is a customer. So this is the endpoint, the customer find by ID, right? And the second endpoint is you need to pass uh, the find, uh, for example, the order, find customer order, and then pass the ID and you can see uh, the customer information uh, is uh, in the one, one JSON you you would have a customer information and you would have the order information so this is how you are going to be combining uh, all uh, microservices through, through uh, uh, all combining the data uh, from the customer and order in one endpoint so the, the code is very simple um, the first thing is uh, the configuration part which is very very important so you 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 would have a, a application dot property file for example you have to set mongo dot server one dot host so you can be able to define your own variable name so mongo dot server one dot host mongo dot server one dot port mongo dot mongo db dot server one dot database so you can be able to define the uh, the first db connection uh, uh, in the configuration file and the second db connection and lot of uh, you can be able to connect any databases unlimited database and uh, uh, in the configuration file uh, this is a configuration mongodb configuration uh, you just need to be inject the environment and then you do have two methods the customer db and the order db so you just need to be connect uh, mongo client dot create uh, with mongodb with uh, the host the port and the database so host and port required for the mongo client and then you need to pass the database so this method is actually taking the values from the configuration file and then pass into the mongo client and then it will return the mongo template so it is written the mongo template for the customer so we do we call customer db mongo template and order db mongo template so both are same and the, the both template has been created 
So in this example, we are going to be fetch the data through the Mongo template instead of repositories. So we do have a model. Uh, we do have a customer uh, uh, customer object, uh, which is a customer collection. The builder pattern is used. Uh, the Lombok is used for the data. And uh, this is how you can be able to uh, uh, create the customer uh, model class. So similarly, for the order class, you would have a customer ID and then definitely order ID. So as you can see, the string is uh, primary key because uh, it is generating some code, uh, uh, long code. So we are using the string values. And uh, for the date wise, uh, we use the JSON format because uh, when we are saving the data from the client, so it will be in the string format, not in the date format. So uh, as you can see in our hit uh, for, for, for the customer uh, so you can we are passing the date like uh, uh, like uh, 40405 to the so this is a day and the month so this is a string we cannot be able to pass the uh, date uh, into the date format so we, we used a particular annotation for json format and uh, the json format should be in the string and then the value should be in the in this format so this is how you can be able to you know pass the string value the the application will you know uh, convert this value to the particular date format so these are our model and uh, we do have a controller uh, we do have a service so controller is is just uh, an endpoints uh, the customer controller is rest controller uh, all the requests from the customers and then you have to pass the save customer or find by id customers so these endpoints we are going to be exposed and we are calling to the service method similarly for the order uh, these are or we are calling to the order service and we are creating the orders right so everything is written into the customer service uh, and order service logic so we are going to be injecting uh, mongo template uh, uh, the, the this is the customer service so we are injecting the customer db mongo template and uh, we use save method uh, for saving the customer information and find all for for the uh, find all uh, similarly find by id is uh, find by id and we are passing the customer id so find by id you can be able to pass the customer id similarly for the order uh, if you go to the order so we do uh, call the same method simply uh, the order uh, template and the customer template because we are going to be merge uh, the data from both of the uh, services so we are uh, just you know uh, injecting both of the mongo templates and we are going to be, this is the method uh, it will receive the customer id as an input and uh, we are using the query query is basically is uh, a class which is you know you can be able to write the customer the query in mongodb so this class is uh, from the mongodb core uh, module uh, this class is actually taking some parameter like add criteria where customer id is so we are going to be pass the customer id this is basically a query so this query is used uh, for fetching the data from both of the databases so order databases we are going to be find with the query so query will have you know some parameter so it will the fetch the data for particular uh, customer ids so we uh, uh, we do have a, lot, a list of the customer right similarly for same query for find uh, the customer db mongo we are passing the same query it will give you the customer id so we are uh, creating uh, uh, an object which is uh, uh, in the DTO we do have a customer order so we do have customer we do have a, an order so so we are using this uh, object uh, and we are just initialize and send both of the values and then return it simply so this method is actually very simple method uh, which is you know combining all the uh, data from different databases uh, in one format so and uh, you can play around with the data and this data will be used uh, in the front end layer uh, for uh, displaying the result so this is how you can be able to do that is quite very easy easy example so you can be able to expose as many points at end points as you want so this is uh, give you an idea how you can be able to you know uh, isolate your databases into the multiple multiple dvs and then store the data accordingly and then uh, you can be able to uh, fetch the data accordingly so uh, you can be able to like uh, i have in, in the example i have created the customers and then order so you can be able to create customers with order with one hit call so you can be able to create a dto file pass the value accordingly and then receive it and then pass save it accordingly 
so uh, it's all depend your business logic uh, so th this is how you can do that so it's quite very easy example the code source code is available if you have any question any problem so you can be able to ask me thank you very much bye